Uh, go. Go. So, hello. Uh, in addition to organizing stuff, we actually do conlang sometimes. <laughs> so, that's us. We are designing a dripping language. Uh, we, I guess, a bit of background. We uh, have been partners since LC2. Uh, we organize together. And so, here we are. <laughs> Uh, next slide. Yes. So, uh, this gripping language is uh, meant for two people exactly, uh, which is unlike this whole language thing that I'm doing right now. It's touch mediated, as in, as in this. This is not a magic pair of hands. Never mind. Like this. Yes. Um, at present, although uh, we're looking into doing it extensively, so I could do something like that or whatever. Uh, or just um, a very limited kind of sign, open sign language. But primarily it's intended to be directly hands-on uh, and covert. We're a couple, so uh, we can just walk down the street um, like this and not talking about it or anything. And even if I'm doing it right now, I would bet that the vast majority of you cannot tell. If, if we're being subtle on it, and not only can we, can we be walking And in fact, like it's hard to not be subtle. So I'm going to try doing what we're calling a three gap press, which I'll explain in a minute, really loudly. Can you see that? I bet you can't. Yeah. We can. If, if they could, representation would not work very well. Well, so, so, so yeah. anyway, so. Uh, meta conversation only. Uh, meta conversation only is the special case of this, that if we're talking to you, we can simultaneously be chatting amongst ourselves about, you know, oh God, is he serious? <laughs> Uh, we have a couple angelic influences as well, so we're going to try to make the best use of the medium we can. That's my fault. Next slide. <laughs> so, take your hands. Pick them up. Interlace your hands. Uh, you will find that one of your fingers and one of your thumbs is on top. Now try doing it the other way. You should find that it feels really weirdly awkward, and you probably haven't noticed this before. <laughs> um, so what we're calling the on hand is the one that feels natural on top. Simple enough. Next slide. Can you know what's on top? Yes. The thumb. So in my case, my, my left hand is on top. And in my thumb is on top. In my case, my right hand, my right thumb is the one that's on. Are you left-handed? I'm right-handed. I'm right-handed. I don't think it right correlates with handedness. Uh, it, it, our it, supposition it, is it's physical. Yes. Just purely physical. Yeah. So uh, if you would take uh, and grasp the hand of the person next to you, or two people next to you. Uh, you can do it most comfortably uh, like this in a horizontal manner. Which uh, which hands? All the hands. So my left is right. Thumbs are together. Thumbs are on the same hand. You'll note that if you have different on hand of this, like I am, I'm right on, he's left on. One of you will have to be in the wrong position. Great. It's awkward. Get used to it. Too bad. <laughs> um, so just as a nomenclature thing, the person okay. whose thumb is on top in that particular grip is the dom, and the <laughs> other is the sub. It's just about the grip. <laughs> Standing this way, it would change. We can change like that. That's all it is. Next. Next. Yeah. This is going to be talking about phonology, because that's all you have time for, and so mm -hmm. we'll go through the various uh, motions that constitute the, you just the, the featural level, I suppose, mm -hmm. of the gripping language. So, so to start with, there are four global motions. Uh, you can tours this way. Or I'm right. pretending I'm right. Yeah. So you could either like that, you know, rub your palms up or down against each other, or you can go down, or you can twist at the wrist in one direction or the other. Thumb pushing or fit or, or pinky finger pushing out. So, so yeah, do, do these along like you're doing. Good. Uh, next. Uh, the first, oh, well, first off, there are yes. two, two Sorry. notation systems here. The red notation is like our ASCII compatible stuff you can type, and this is don't, don't do it like that. A tablature-based notation that's like more iconic and is supposed to be like the yes. native writing system in the Gripping language. That's why I've got my name tag here. There'll be Try more examples. Uh, next slide. Yes. So, so uh, finger presses. Yeah. Uh, we've got you've got the thumb is special. You've got four other fingers, and for each of you can press in two places. You can either press uh, on the gap between two fingers that they're sitting on, da 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 da, or you can press a knuckle. You press the knuckle of the same finger in the opposite hand. 
So for example, if you're pressing with your fifth finger, you press the knuckle of their fifth finger. Yes. Just try it. Um, one thing I would suggest that you try uh, is one person press uh, press either a gap or a knuckle. The other person identify what they just pressed. Yes. It takes a little get, getting used to, and just you know talk amongst each other yeah. uh, while you're doing that. Uh, notice that if you try to press a knuckle, you have to have a slight amount of torsion uh, of the same kind that we were talking about before. This will come up in the next slide. Next. Thanks. All right. The other thing you can do with your thumb is uh, thumbs are more flexible, and so they've got more things. Uh, you, we, we identified five places that the dog thumb and five places the self thumb press, and so they're the same phonemes. Uh, but different realizations. Uh, the dong thumb can press at the tip, uh, or at this knuckle, or at this knuckle, or at the metacarpal, the fleshy bit here, or on the wrist here. <laughs> and the sub thumb can press uh, here, 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 and on the webbing here. Next. Uh, there's also rubs, so you can also go like that, 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 that. Very simple. Uh, and of course, the realization is slightly different for the sub. This would be good for <laughs> 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 You can't get that. You'll get used to it. I'll show you later. <laughs> anyway, so uh, what we call a chord is just a co-articulation of certain uh, fingers. So for example, if you press your second and third finger on the gap simultaneously, that is a 2-3 gap chord. Uh, if you do that together with a thumb articulation, like the tip, try doing tip plus 2-3 gap, which looks like this. That is called a thumb chord. Uh, and this uh, takes one unit of time, which is called beat. Uh, one constraint, because of the microtosion that we mentioned before, um, is that uh, everything in a chord has to have the same knuckledness. I suggest you try it. Try doing a 2-3 gap four knuckle press. It feels weird, and the reason is because you're straining in opposite directions, and it doesn't work. And we discovered this because we did an exhaustive search. Another good thing <laughs> from an exhaustive search is that, uh, both for reasons of like production and perception, to make things easier, we say this, uh, you only can press groups of adjacent fingers. You can't do this or, or this kind of thing. And in particular, I would suggest that you try this. Uh, uncross your hands. Do just a two, four gap press, uh, which is like this, and do a two, three, four gap press. So two, four, two, four versus two, three, four. Um, uh, act in actual like, contact with yourself. I think you'll find that you think you can dis dis discriminate the two. Now try it with your partner. Uh, do a two, four versus a two, three, four. Uh, I think you'll find that your your likelihood of guessing it is no better than chance. Uh, as with other things, it feels very different when someone else does it. Oh uh, yeah. Here we are. So uh, these are single beats, single time units. Uh, to make words in a working language, we negate these and we hold some fingers uh, to to join the beats together. So what's diagram here is pressing fingers two, three, four on the gaps that's unfilled. I didn't really say that last slide. And then holding them and pressing finger five as well. So you have a sequence. Like this is are. going from two, three, then releasing two and pressing four. Uh, and so there are constraints on, on ligated sequences which have the same kind of explanation. I'll, I'll skip over those. Uh, we're aiming to make all words be a single ligature because ligatures can be as many beats as we like. And it's just a nice constraint. It's aesthetically pleasing. Yes. We haven't really made for an engine like words yet, but that's the goal. Next. OK, so uh, even though uh, we don't have all that many uh, simple motions, when you multiply it, uh, what that means is we've got uh, anywhere between five and 14,000 two-beat ligatures, uh, depending on how you count um, rubs, whether you count this as one beat or one and a half beats or two beats or whatever. Uh, if you count it as one beat, where you go like this, uh, then two beat ligatures, we've got 14,000. Uh, that means that more or less everything in the language is going to be two, like, two beats or less. Um, and moreover, we have uh, the one beat things are special 
because they're so much easier to do, and so those are sort of uh, reified for uh, special stuff. Okay, so this is one thing we have designed, and it's the English code. This is, think of this as the analog to ASL finger spelling. This is for like, not signing, just finger spelling. Just finger spelling. So it's like for saying names or maybe nonce borrowings or something like this. And so I, I only had room to put on the, the tablet notation, but I mean, this is the quiz, I guess. Did you remember the tablet notation? Uh, figures two, three, four, five. So uh, to remind you, <coughs> black is knuckle. Yes. Uh, white is gap. And then from thumb, this is top to bottom in that order. Uh, that is, the lightest one is the top, the darkest one is the bottom. Yes, these are rubs, these are just sequence of two. And if you want to specify a CD sequence, you can do the uh, fingers in the sum at the same time. And if you please try to spell out your name. This is the final spell. See if you can spell your name. Uh, for instance, my name is uh, fourth gap with uh, tip thumb. Uh, sorry, fourth gap with uh, middle thumb. And then tip. Because sai. Psi is so I'm like uh, yeah. yeah. So when you got say the for n, that's fourth gap. Fourth gap, yes. 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 Does that mean the fourth gap of third gap. The fourth the gap sorry, third pressed gap. by the fourth by oh, the no, fourth gap. gap. Yeah, sorry. Two, three, four. Yes. Press a gap with your fourth finger. Press a gap with my fourth yes. finger. So press so your fourth finger? Oh. yes. Press so this gap. Yes. So the read the the listener. Will have will hear something yeah. different. We'll have to hear that is correct. Yes. Uh, so it is shifted. We considered other ways of coding it, and uh, we actually sort of tested both ways of doing it, and this one worked out. Okay. 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 Yeah. That's it. Uh, we've got another slide. We'll leave this up in case you want to play around with spelling things. Uh, that's what I to say. Uh, although uh, one thing I would like to point out. Time. Yeah. Fine. One thing I would like to point out is on. Um, the optimization thing, uh, if you'll notice, all the stops are two, uh, two fingers. Uh, the front of the mouth is towards your index finger. The back of the mouth is towards your pinky finger. Uh, on the vowels, it's a U on the IPA chart from the top to the bottom of the thumb. Um, and uh, also, the simpler ones to do are the statistically more likely phonemes in the English language. Rough. So this is rough. Rough. Uh, so this is specifically tailored to English. Questions? And next slide. Um, <laughs> we're done. How fluent are you? And next slide. <laughs> uh, there are no speakers because there's no vocabulary yet. In this is, a, this is an English code example. So this is not what the language looks like, but this is just what the English code looks like. Uh, we chose this example because there's no vocabulary yet. Very little. Can, not, can you speak yeah. in English to each other? Very slowly. Very slowly. Very slowly. Okay, so, so you're it's an do, active development. You're going to do a timeline <laughs> yeah. that is really concise. We hope yeah. to get better with practice. Yeah. <laughs> Questions? Yes. Yes. Herb. Can you do it? Go ahead. Who is who? David? I thought I was David first. David. Yeah. Um, are we going to try with the microphone here yet? Whatever. Okay. Uh, this, is, this is from Ann Brosta. It's a two-part question. First, he wants to know, uh, and I know this now, he wants to know what a tropical math geek is. <laughs> but uh, regarding your talk, uh, he wants to know, uh, why call this a grip language rather than a grip phonology? Uh, to to the second, it will be a language. We just haven't gotten there yet. Um, <laughs> this, this was a talk about the phonology. Oh. Um, tropical math? Well, I don't know. I, I have a hard time giving the layman's answer. Uh, it's like combinatorial shadows of algebraic geometry, if that means anything to you. Uh, or in simpler terms, it's this thing that a Brazilian mathematician did, uh, did and a French mathematician said, oh, those Brazilians are tropical, and he called it tropical math. Right, that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's no deeper than Math in the tropics. Uh, de... Someone else had a... You. Is it possible to do it with hands clasped rather than? Uh, we've considered that, and we haven't really figured out a good way that would be um, uh, distinguishable by the recipient. That is, in fact, a major barrier. Uh, What's to the distinction? Uh, trying to do it like this. this. Uh, oh. Trying to do it like this. Trying to do it like this. Trying to do it uh, like. Uh, same hand, please. Uh, like that. Like this. Um, pose some interesting problems for uh, the recipient more than the coder. Mm -hmm. uh, someone here had a question, I think? Yeah. 
not a question, just a comment. I, I think that's very clever. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's questions over there. Oh, um, we should probably cut off. Uh, we have, I think, two more minutes or so. One more minute. Yeah, no, you guys have been over for a little while. Oh, fine. <laughs> Last question. Have you considered like pulling a finger backward? Like yes, we considered like a uh, pull up thing. We considered a uh, pull up and press. If you if you try it, just pressing versus off pressing. Um, you, these can be distinguished. Uh, however, in testing, we found that it was too annoying. Well, and, and it, it got overwhelmed by the other stuff. Another thing that interferes with the ligatures. Yeah. So okay. there are issues. Uh, we're welcome. We're happy to discuss it more, but we're out of time. So bye. Okay.